everybody, my name is Tanisa, and I know you have been super patient waiting for another Upstreet Online. I'm not sure if you know, but Upstreet is by far my favorite street out there. I love getting to be in all your homes each week, teaching you about what an amazing God we have. Last week, we talked about patience. How was your patience last week? Did you pick someone in your family and show them that you cared for them? I hope you did. Well, one of my favorite parts of Upstreet is playing games. And this game is good, guys. Seriously, it might actually be my top game we've played so far in 2021. It's called Nailed It or Failed It Cat Edition. Cats are pretty crazy jumpers, right? If you have a cat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the object of this game is to try and guess if these jumping cats nailed it or failed it. That means, did they make the jump or did they not make the jump? <laughs> You're gonna see a video and then have a few seconds to guess if you think they're gonna nail it with an epic jump or fail. Think you can do it? All right, here we go. Now that was a pretty epic game. I hope you had fun. Well, let's have some more fun right now with some singing. All right, everyone, stand up wherever you are right now and let's get ready to sing. What's going on, guys? Josh Pajak is back and we got a bunch of songs for you guys for the new year. Here we go.
That was awesome, you guys. Wow, am I in desperate need of a haircut. Okay, it's story time. Guys, help me. I don't know what to do. I've locked myself in my room because my little cousin Mariah is driving me crazy. We're babysitting her this weekend, so I thought I'd teach her hide and seek. And she loved it. But now she wants me to play it all the time. Play seek, Maya, play seek. Well, I played seek five times this morning. I don't want to. Hear that? It's her. I don't know what to do. I told her no. I even gave her my iPad. Ugh, I'm so tempted to just go out there and yell at her. Maya, girl, I totally get it. I have been there. It's like when someone's bugging you and bugging you and bugging you, and you know you should be patient. But I mean, come on, six rounds of hide and go seek with your little cousin? Ugh, we've all been there, right? Okay, or what about this? Let's say that your parents have been promising to take you to the new rock wall for weeks now, and the day has finally come. But your little brother gets to go first, and you can only go one at a time, and he is taking forever, forever. Okay, what if you just took things into your own hands, right? Like, just yank the rope a little bit. Just a little tug. What if you stirred things up a little bit? All right, guys, if you did that or if I did that, we would probably get kicked out completely. Or worse, our little brother could get hurt. Talk about causing trouble. Or what about lines? I really, really don't like lines, especially super long ones like this one. Okay, what would happen if I just cut to the front, right? It's not like anybody's gonna see or notice. And plus, my time is just as valuable and important as everybody else in the line, right? All right, hold up. Not only is cutting the line wrong, it's rude. Every single person in that line would be super frustrated if I just walked in front of them without waiting my turn. I could get into big trouble for that. All right, so what do we do? You know what? The Bible actually has something to say about patience. Check this out. In Proverbs 15, 18, it says, a hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. Whoa, okay, so a hot-tempered person stirs things up. They make it worse. Instead of getting what they want, they actually get kicked out, make everyone super mad at them, or worse, lose a friendship. Being impatient leads to trouble for sure. But there's good news. A patient person calms a quarrel. So having patience keeps you out of trouble. Like this beautiful, peaceful stream. A calm person makes everyone else calm too. It's kind of hard to get all worked up and upset in such a peaceful setting, right? Okay, so what if you could be the one to bring calm instead of conflict? So would you rather be a person who stirs things up or calms things down? God wants us to be calm, to listen instead of argue louder, to wait, to be patient, even when it's the opposite of what we feel like doing in the moment. A good friend chooses to be calm instead of stirring things up. Now, I know for me, that doesn't come naturally, but I do know that I wanna be the kind of friend who calms things down and stays out of trouble. So let's talk to God and ask him to help us with that now. Hey God, thank you so much for reminding us how important it is to be patient. This week when we feel tempted to stir things up, help us to remember to take a breath, be calm and choose patience. We love you, amen. Be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4 2. Do not be proud. Don't be proud at all. Do not be proud. Don't be proud at all. Don't be 
crowd at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. Calm. I want to be calm. Okay, so I'm not gonna yell at my cousin. Obviously, I can see how that would cause trouble. I'd probably make her cry, right? And my mom would not be happy. And I do love my little cousin, you know? So here's your challenge this week. Just stay calm and patient with your little brother, your teacher, with the kid on the bus. Stay calm and patient. Don't stir up trouble, okay? Just stay calm and <laughs> patient. <laughs> Coming, Mariah. Bye, guys. Wait, having patience keeps us out of trouble? Well, that's pretty awesome. I want to be patient, don't you? Choosing patience calms the situation down. It protects you and the people around you because having patience keeps you out of trouble. I mean, think about how this is true. When your younger brother is playing a video game and you want to take a turn, rather than getting mad about it and stealing the controller out of his hand and getting into a big fight, let him finish. Do something else in the meantime and show them that your relationship with them is more important than playing the game. Or how about at school, when you're playing hockey and the ref makes such a terrible call and you get so mad and you want to yell out and that's just not fair. Well, how about you choose to respect the ref's decision and choose patience and not yell things out that you may regret later on. It's hard, I know it's hard, but God can help you. We want to be friends who are patient and put others first. So this week, see if you can use some patience when a situation comes up that might be hard and ask God to help you. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today in Upstreet Online. I had so much fun. But before we go, we have some birthdays this week. So a huge happy birthday to Asher, Tyson, Jacob, Sydney, Jameson, Mariel, Man, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and feel so special. All right, guys, see you next week. Bye.